Chess friends, when you set stockfish with an infinite time limit, stockfish become more powerful and aggressive, there is a program of every engine when they can play with his infinite strategy, today there is no time limit, Alpha Zero and Stockfish will play with infinite mode, this is 10,000 LO chess, and welcome to our today's brilliant of brilliant 10,000 LO chess game, before starting the video let me show you your today's puzzle, puzzle makes you stronger, that's why I give you a puzzle. This is 100 IQ puzzle, solve the puzzle and comment me, I will reply you, so let's go, Alpha started with C4, here you can play a reversed Sicilian defense, or E6, Knight here, also d5, but I play d6, I have to follow my book move, we have knight c3, e5, g3 by alpha, he want his bishop on this line, play e3 then d4, push you queen side pawn, so I responded with g6, bishop here, bishop g7, d3, knight here, e4, in 10,000 level alpha makes 1800 rated structure, not bad, we have knight to d7. It is called 10,000 elo defensive move, knight here, I pushed the pawn to a5 and now I want to move the pawn then knight to c6 and knight c5, to occupy the center squares with my brave knights, so alpha played castle, we do see here h5, bishop to g5 to pin the knight to the queen, so I played c6, alpha breaks the center with d4, pawn takes, knight takes, we have a4, queen up to d2, Knight goes to e5 to target the pawn on c4, we have b, takes, takes, we have early rook exchange, rook takes a1 by alpha 0. I played short castle, h3, rook e8, king h2, this king h2 move strategy is to make the structure stable and secure, and f4 is the long term idea, we have queen to c7, in this position, my strategy is to play f5, after pawn takes, takes, takes and bishop takes, the dark square bishop will activate on there and so on, many of you cannot memorize all my arrow lines so I wouldn't show you my further arrow lines, but don't worry I will show you the variations, we have bishop to f4, king to h7, bishop on d3. This bishop move make me clear that he want to push the pawn to f4, so, here I played h4, sacrificing my first pawn on this game, alpha says no, I would not take your pawn, because then you will play d5, knight to f3, this pawn moves gives me this queen diagonal, and it will be a double check to the king and the queen, yes, you are right, I played d5, my nightmare is coming to destroy you, alpha responded it by playing f4, it is the correct time for you to pause the video and make a brilliant move for me. You can pause the video, ok, if you find pawn takes c4 then congratulation, you are correct, you are sacrificing your knight like me, but don't do it on your actual game because you are not good as 10,000 rated player as me, alpha accept the sacrifice, queen takes e5 check, king to h1, here I played f5, sacrificing a another pawn, this pawn is targeted by the two pawns, and if you dare to take the pawn like e takes f5, then I will play knight takes pawn, sacrificing the another knight for you, because you are a stockfish subscriber, after pawn takes, there is queen takes bishop, now try to exchange the queens, we will see queen takes queen, rook takes e3, these knights are targeted by the bishop, so knight goes back to e2, then I will sacrifice, the rook, knight takes e2, then bishop takes rook, takes, king takes, takes, king here, and that's it, black is winning because there is 2 versus 1, and because of this pawn fight. The white king left of the left side of the board, I will make past pawns, and it will be minus 8 position, so, back to the position, here we have pawn takes c4 by alpha, I take the pawn on g4, g takes h3 is coming, so, alpha takes the pawn, I played c5, knight back to e2, to protect the knight on c3, we have bishop takes g4, my bishop is targeting the knight on e2 and also the c3 knight is targeted by the queen and the bishop, both of the pieces pressuring on the knight. So if you get fear and play in any ordinary move like rook c1, to protect the knight, then h3, bishop back to f1, we will see bishop check, king slides, check, here, then pawn promotes on h1 square, I will get two queens on the board and your king is in very danger position, that's enough to win the game, so back to the position, here alpha played rook to f1, I played h3, bishop to f3, rook to f3, 
targeting the bishop with two pieces, the bishop can't move because of rook takes rook. So bishop f4 with the supporting of the queen to target the queen, so queen slides to h5, to create pressure on the bishop, alpha responded with queen d3 to protect the bishop, we do see here bishop takes knight, the knight can't take the bishop because of rook takes f4, and there will be a problem on f3 square, so, alpha takes the bishop with the queen, I played g5, bishop can't take the pawn, let me show you why, if bishop takes pawn happen, then bishop takes check, rook takes f3. We will see here rook takes rook, targeting on the queen, so queen backs to protect the bishop, rook to f1 check, king here, rook check, king backs, queen to f3 to give a checkmating threat, and how you will protect the king, ha. Huh. So if you want to be strong like me then you can do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, then you will never miss any latest content from us, so back to the position, here alpha played king to h2, we have bishop takes f3, rook takes bishop, queen to g4, threatening mate in 1. So rook takes pawn check, king ups, queen slides, pawn takes bishop, queen check, rook blocks, queen takes knight, queen takes e2 check, king backs, check, king ups, queen check, king backs, check, here, check, I am giving repetitive checks, because if I play any other move, for example, after king h1, if I play f3, threatening queen g2 checkmate, then queen h7 check, king here, check, ups, takes and check, his queen and rook is enough to checkmate my king, I will lose the game, so back to the position, we have queen check, king here, check, here, check, here, and after some more moves later, we have check again, you might think why not alpha is playing any other move to save the king from windmill checks, but it's not so easy, we have queen here, check and here, check, here, after queen check, if the king moves any another square, for example, king g2, then rook g7 to give a check, so after king f2, there is queen c2 check, and the black is exposed, it will be destroyed by himself, so, back to the position, we have king here, repetitive moves. We agreed to make this game end by making this game draw, wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.